jawbone. When officials informally develop policy approaches through means like speeches, no action letters and reports, instead of formal legislation. Now, while every agency jawbones to a certain degree, for example, one or two sentences from the Federal Reserve Chairman about predictions of the economy can send markets skyrocketing or tumbling, in fintech, officials are relying on these less conventional tools to shape policy for a host of reasons. Fintech innovations are complex. They don't normally change the whole financial ecosystem, but target discrete parts of the financial services supply chain. Officials therefore have to figure out how to regulate massive changes in a small but vital piece of the financial ecosystem or a network. Fintech is constantly evolving and quickly even faster than the rate at which agencies or Congress can release rules. So officials are using jawboning to introduce policies more rapidly and in real time. Firms and sectors have short histories with often little data, and no one knows for certain what the impact of any rule may have. So in order to get the information that they need, regulators are increasingly seeking to experiment with approaches instead of introducing one-shot solutions for eternity. But jawboning carries risks. If abused, it can alter the balance of power between majority and minority commissioners. It's also not actual law, so future and even current officials can literally flip the script on firms. And if a fintech firm ends up violating a future regulation, compliance with an earlier jawbone policy is not. Defense in court.